Welcome to Jewels of the Trade. Today we're talking about jade rollers. Real or fake? We've always wondered about jade rollers. Are they really jade? Are they natural? Are they treated? Are they just a different stone entirely? We drove all the way out to Colorado to talk to one of the nation's leading jade experts, Jeff Mason, owner of Mason K Jade. We're gonna tell you exactly what we found and the information may surprise you. But first, what is a jade roller? Facial rollers found online and in the beauty section of some stores claim to stimulate skin, slow aging, and heal puffiness. Based on the premise that jade rollers have been allegedly used in China for hundreds of years to allegedly improve skin health. Hundreds of thousands of facial rollers sell every year, making it a multi-million dollar industry. Jade rollers seem to average a price of about $30 to $85 in store with a lower price typically online. So are jade rollers even real jade? Today we're going to show video of testing for four different facial rollers to determine conclusively whether they are or are not actual jade. But to do this, we need to know what jade is. There are two gemstones called jade, nephrite and jadeite. Nephrite is the toughest gemstone in the world, known famously as the gem prized by China for thousands of years. It comes in a variety of colors and can be seen in jewelry, figurines, relics, and more. Jadeite is second in toughness only to nephrite and has been highly valued in China since the 1700s. It also comes in a variety of colors and is most valued in jewelry. If you have heard of imperial jade, this refers to the highest quality of jadeite, sometimes fetching millions of dollars at auction. So now that we know what facial rollers are and we know what jade is, let's get started to see which facial rollers are actually jade. Let's get started with the Zenin Origin facial roller. The price ranges from about 10 to $25 or so and can be found on Walmart, Amazon, and some other online sources. So just first impressions, this is cool to the touch, which jade usually is. According to its online listing, it weighs about eight ounces, but I don't know if that's normal for a jade roller. A lot of people claim you can feel if jade is real by the weight. I mean, heavy isn't a weight, it's subjective. So right off the bat, there are two main indicators that this isn't jade. The low price and the fact that it does scratch from a steel knife. Jade usually won't scratch if you put a steel knife against it. It, but then again, some of its simulants won't either. Therefore, the scratch test is really not a great at-home test to see if your jade is real. For instance, quartz is a common jade simulant and it also usually won't scratch if you try to scratch it with a steel knife. Another reason the scratch test is not the best way to test your jade roller at home is because if you do this to your roller, it can be damaging to it if it isn't jade. So we're pretty sure this isn't jade, but let's watch the expert test it so that we can get conclusive results. Here's a video of Jeff Mason, jade expert, testing the gemstone with a refractometer. A refractometer is a standard piece of gemological testing equipment that measures the refractive index of a gemstone. Refractive index is a number that demonstrates how fast light travels through a material. Because many different gemstones have different refractive indexes, this test is a very commonly used indicator of gemstone type and can provide conclusive results in some contexts, particularly in differentiating jadeite from different materials such as nephrite, quartz, grossularite, and more. Not jade. Not jade. <laughs> While this is a beautiful facial roller, the Zenin Origin facial roller refractometry results reveals that this jade roller is definitely not jadeite or nephrite. Therefore, this is not a jade roller. Testing indicates this may be quartz, which is still an amazing gemstone. But the test was not conclusive. The online listing for this jade roller calls this product jade and even calls it 100% natural. This is a fun piece and appropriately priced for what it is, but calling it jade would be incorrect and a little shady. This one is called the Authentic Canadian Jade Facial Roller. So right off the bat, this is much more beautiful. It doesn't look cheaply made. It feels cold. It feels heavy. Again, the 
temperature and the perceived weight are not really indicators or tests at all, even though online sources will recommend to check for that. This jade roller comes from jademine.com. The company that made this is called Jade West, and they are one of the world's largest producers and exporters of nephrite jade, operating four mines out of northern British Columbia. A good indicator that this is real jade is that these are nephrite people, not skincare people. I mean, they mine and sell nephrite jade jewelry, so why would they not mine and sell a nephrite jade jade roller? But we're gonna test it and find out for sure. Just for y'all's information, this roller does not fluoresce under a UV light, nor does it scratch with a steel knife. This facial roller is listed at $99.98, which is also a very good indicator that it is probably genuine jade. But as always, test to know best. Here's a video of Jeff testing this jade roller with a refractometer. This is jade mix. Nephrite. Nephrite. There you have it. Nephrite's refractive index is between 1.606 and 1.632, which is exactly what the refractometer showed. The authentic Canadian jade roller from jademine.com is conclusively natural nephrite jade. If you would like to purchase this real jade roller, we are including a link in the description below. Okay, moving on to Bavua. 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 Okay, so this packaging reads jade roller. On the back, it says handcrafted natural jade. Is that an indicator? No, not really, because as it turns out, people lie. But some people tell the truth, so you just never know. It costs $19.95 on their website. Now that I have something to compare it to, I can say that this does actually feel noticeably lighter than the Nephrite Jade Roller. But as I said, how heavy it is, is not a reliable indicator. This roller does not fluoresce, but it did scratch with a knife. Here's Jeff testing this Jade Roller with a refractometer. Quartz. Quartz. This next one is herbivore. It's cold, has a good weight to it, does not look cheaply made. I want to be optimistic about this one. It looks like this one retails for around $30. This is a Sephora brand. This roller did not fluoresce under UV lighting. I wouldn't expect it to. I actually wouldn't expect any of these to. The only reason I'm doing the UV light test is because there are so many rumors online that you can determine if jade is real by whether or not it fluoresces under UV light. This is nonsense. And as you've seen so far, both real jade and fake jade neither one have fluoresced under a uv light so far making it not an indicator um this one also did not scratch with a knife if you remember the nephrite jade roller did not scratch with a knife and as i said before jade is harder than steel so jade should not scratch with a knife however simulants mimicking jade will also sometimes not scratch with a knife particularly some pieces of quartz. So what this tells us, because it didn't scratch, is, well, nothing. It did not scratch and therefore it could be jade, could be quartz. We're gonna have to test it to find out. So here is Jeff testing this facial roller with a refractometer. Just touch it on one spot and that spot is there and it's much harder to see what it is, what it is. Quartz. Quartz. Looking at this packaging, it does say jade facial roller but it is conclusively quartz. So there you have it. Quartz is not harmful to the skin. So by all means, pay 15 to $30 for your quartz roller. It certainly won't hurt you. Just know that a lot of these brands on the market are called jade when they're really not nephrite or jadeite. Of the four we tested today, only one of these jade rollers was actually genuine jade, so there is hope. The authentic Canadian jade roller from jademine.com is definitively, conclusively, 100% irrefutably and undoubtedly natural nephrite jade. So if you want a real jade roller, click the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching my video. If this helped you, please give it a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe.